got a secret can you keep it with this one you so the good news is pretty little liars has been renewed for two more seasons and the bad news is i bet we're gonna have to wait that long to find out who a is no i cannot wait much longer i mean i know that's the whole basis of the show but still aren't you guys dying to know who a is hey guys welcome back to kelly tv so excited that pretty little liars is back and we start right where we left off Ezra has been shot. We don't know if he's going to make it. They're taking him to the hospital and all the liars are basically freaking out, especially Arya. Now they feel like they're going to find out in this episode who A is and I'm like, mm, whatever. I'm seriously doubting that. But were you guys a little bit surprised by the ending? I mean, a lot of stuff happened in this episode and I thought it was a really good one. So let's talk a little bit about Melissa. She has this secret. She hinted about it in the season four finale. She knows who is in the grave, who is supposedly Allie, but who is someone else's daughter, as she says. And she told her dad who that is. And she almost told her mom and she almost told police in this episode. And her dad is like, uh, Melissa, you cannot tell anyone else, uh, especially Spencer, because she says that Spencer will feel better if she finds out. So guys, who is this girl? in the grave. It's probably not somebody we know, but you just never know. Do you guys have any ideas who it is? Post those down below. So A or someone who is with the A team or something like that has made his way or her way into the hospital and she's lurking around or it's lurking around and sending text messages that like, we need to follow the leader. And the liars are kind of setting up this person and they think that they can use Allie as a decoy to trap the person in a park. But it turns out there's all these other people who are claiming to be A that are dressed in black and we're just kind of thrown off. Even though the main person that they were following or who was following them, Allie did spray them with some pepper spray. But I'm starting to think more and more that there's a whole like troop of people who are A. And every episode it just gets like more and more confusing about who's the good guy and who's the bad guy. Speaking of, so Shauna's hanging out at the hospital. She tells Arya that Allie sent her, which totally makes sense to us because we think that Shauna is on Team Allie, Team Liars, right? And she's acting kind of normal, except for when she disappears to go check on Ezra after he's let out of surgery and she forgets conveniently to wake up Arya. So when Arya goes in there to check on him, um, Ezra starts to wake up and he's like hyperventilating because he sees something or someone who is freaking him out. Yep, you guessed it, it's Shauna. And we'll get to that a little bit later. Let's go back to the girls. They're hanging out at... Ezra's family theater in the city and they're having some bonding time but they're not really sure if they can still trust Allie because come on guys she is shady. Anyway so they all fall asleep and then someone shows up to surprise Allie and that someone is Cece. Now she hints a lot about how the two of them look alike and I've always wondered if PLL is going to go along with the books and do the twin theory so I don't know if they're going to say that this is her actual sister, like Cece and Allie are actual sisters slash twins, or if they're just like going to be BFF and not actually related. But they keep saying there's some sort of twins in this show, so like, who is it, guys? Do you guys have any ideas? Yeah, let me know down below. So anyway, Cece is trying to get out of the country after all. We're told in this episode that she for sure killed Wilden. So Noel is helping out with this, and Allie gives her passport, which is actually the Vivian Darkbloom passport, to Cece to help her get, I guess, out of the country and they give her money so she can escape. So now we're being told we should trust Cece. Is Cece trustworthy? What do you guys think? So Ezra is in the hospital still and Shauna has disappeared and he is able to whisper something that we can't hear but um, Aria runs out and we can tell that whatever it is is like super urgent and I had a pretty good feeling that it had to do with Shauna. Well now meantime while this is all going on Mona is acting super weird and she's like arranging this I hate Alley club and she even calls a meeting of the club and we find out that she's working with Lucas who wasn't really a big part of last season so he's super creepy again. I really think that Mona is like an accessory to the I don't think she's part of the real A-team. I think she's 
pretending. I, I really don't think she's part of the Sinister A team. I just think she wants to be part of some team. So she's trying to assemble like all these people who Allie had been mean to in the past. And this includes Paige. And Paige is like, I don't really want a part of this. This is crazy. And as Paige was trying to leave, she runs right into Melissa, who seems like she's really in Mona's club. And then Paige is like, well, hold on a second. And she comes back in. So we'll have to see how this all unfolds. But it seems like this season, Mona is back to being evil. So back with the girls, we find out that Shauna has been the one that's kind of been traipsing around in the black outfit. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Shauna has been the one traipsing around in the black outfit, and she shows up at the theater with a gun. And she's like, for real, trying to shoot the liars. I mean, she's gone like crazy, and we're all like, what, what, what? And they're all thinking that this is A, and guys, we know better this is not really A. But anyway, she definitely means business. I guess we were to assume that she was the one who shot Ezra, correct? And she's talking about how she was at the lodge, and when that whole fire thing happened a couple seasons ago, I think she may have started the fire. So I'm trying to figure out her whole deal with this here. It has something to do with Jenna. She says she's doing this for Jenna because I guess, you know, they've been dating and Allie's like, you can't trust Jenna. So what do you guys think is the motivation behind Shauna's freak out and the fact that she wanted to kill all the liars and Allie and Ezra? Um, and it seems like she was trying to go back into the hospital and finish the job she did not Ezra. But before she could shoot any of our favorite liars, Aria comes up behind her with the prop gun, which may be a real gun, and knocks her off the stage. And wow, we had a dead person in our very first episode of season five. There she is on the floor in a pool of blood. And gosh, that was a lot. It was surprising. And the girls were like relieved and hugging and they're like, hey, this is all back to normal now. But we know with um, two, pretty much three seasons left of this show that this is not far from over. So, so much happened in this episode and I want to know what you guys think about it because I love hearing your theories. And if you love talking about PLL, then you'll want to like this video and also subscribe to my channel because I will be reviewing and recapping every single episode from season five of Pretty Little Liars. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. Have a great day. Bye-bye.